I just did this entire video without hitting the record button. Let's do it again. Hey, it's Isaac here today, and I'm doing a video over Tulip. This is my follow-up video. Um, I did Tulip, or the Tulip Stack, combination lasers, LEDs, and that, a little over a year ago. Um, I did it for about going on three months, and I had some really good effects from it. It's the best thing I've found so far that works pretty much on all levels of cognition, because you're pretty much using it on your entire brain. You're creating all your ATP production, energy, ox axion branching, neurogenesis. It's awesome. And I stopped it sometime last year and a whole bunch of other things, as well as YouTube, and I had a bad year last year. But this year I'm back, and I'm back on Tulip, so I think it's time for a bit of an update. Right now I'm working on building a vetro laser or just an 808 nanometer array of my own that's a laser based, not LED. LED, the lasers are more focused infrared light and they penetrate deeper into the brain and they deliver a better dose and everything. So this I forgot to actually plug in last time and display it I think so we can see the infrared light. But that's it. Use it on the nine different or twelve different spots on your head. Um, I pretty much do it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and 12. I also use my thyroid. Um, you can also use another glands as well to upgrade or help to energize those a little bit if you want to. I also take a lot of um, iodine as well. Um, to start with, Tulip was created by Los Falco and a group of people on Longicity. Um, the link is here and it's also below in the description if you want to click on it. LLT promotes neurogenesis as well as axon branching and ATP production. Um, ATP is the basic energy unit of our cells. It fuels everything, our hearts, our livers, every cell in our body. So it's quite vitally important, except for technically stem cells, which mitochondria are turned off, which are still very, which is why they're very similar to cancer cells, which is why the body has a bit of an issue dealing with them. Now, you do want to add in the CoQ10 and the PQQ. PBQ helps make more smaller and better functioning mitochondria. The smaller they are, the more efficient, and the more of, the better. Like some cells have over a thousand mitochondria. And you can also like get Dave's version, which is supposed to be um, the active form, which I haven't tried, but it looks pretty good. Some people do seem to respond better better than others, and it's really about your biology and everything, and where your current health and your diet is. And as well as CoQ10 helps with ATP, ATP production. I suggest taking 300 milligrams, which is concentrating in your bloodstream, then 200 milligrams or 100. Um, there's a study over that, so I would suggest that. That's also what Los Falco and myself take, and it seems to definitely work. A lot of the benefits around this, a lot of people notice it can be um, antidepressive. One of the studies that's shown, there's a lot of studies behind this promoting it and showing how good it is. For myself and a lot of people, they, they like they compare it to being like, in Los Falco specifically, compare it to being like the closest thing to like the limitless effect. Once you start adding in the supplements, that best benefit it. The biggest thing is it makes your mind quicker. Your thoughts come up faster, they're more efficient, everything just functions better because you get the axon branch, you get the neurogenesis, you're getting more energy in your brain. If you ever feel like sluggish and everything, like you have the capacity, you have the ability to do your work or whatever it is you're thinking about, or just in class, you know how to do it, but you just lack the energy. It's like the chemical processes aren't there. You don't have the fuel to burn. Like myself, I'm very like calorie sensitive. If I don't eat food for like every four hours, I start to crash. So Tulip really helps with that. And it's one of the few things that's probably borderline enhancement, cognitively, I would say. And I would say that, I do say that. Getting a vetro laser which performs better than an LED array. LED arrays cost them between like 20 bucks and 50, depending on what size you get. Like this is a 48 LED array, which covers pretty big portions. You can go big or smaller if you want to, but it doesn't penetrate as deeply as the vetro laser. The vetro laser is a product made for like horses and dogs, dog treatments and everything by a specific company. It works on it works on humans as well. But the thing is, it's 575 bucks plus 15 dollars in shipping, and that's kind of insane. I'm sorry, I, mean, I know it's a one-time purchase and you don't have to like keep making installments like you have for a lot of supplements. It's a one-time deal, but I'm just kind of like, <sighs> no. I know the parts in that cost significantly less. It's pretty much you're paying for the flashlight casing that they use, the rechargeable battery, the name, and the fact that they put it together in their profit margin. But I put it together and you can make it for less than 60 bucks. You don't have to get focusable. You can just get the dot lasers. You, so that got out of the way. I actually messaged them and made sure that's what I need. Just find lasers, infrared range, 808. Um, it should be calling for about 3 volts and as well as 250 MA. You can use 3 of those if you're going to match like the vetro laser specs, which I'm like, no, if we're going to do this, we're going to do this right. So right now I'm using, I mean, I have 4 on order, and I don't currently have it, I'm about to make it. You can go more if you want a larger cluster, you can do an entire helmet if you wanted to. With that, each of those costing from like 10 bucks to 20, 
You get those on eBay or AliExpress and various other places. In the description, I'll put some links and everything and how to choose those and the ones I picked out. You can follow the same facts and everything. You want to get a 3 volt power supply at 1 amp or 1000 1, mA. And that will power up 4 of those. And I just have to attach it to something, tape it down, cut the wires back, tie them together. I'll have a picture right here showing how to wire that. It's super simple. Other additions people add in are like artichoke to give it more of the boost in memory, similar to Siltep. Tulip seems to cross over into a lot of the Siltep area. So you don't really need to combine the two, but you can take like the aspect of the artichoke and add that in, and that'll pretty much give you Tula plus Siltap. It, it really is one of the best things I can recommend. Uh, it's right up there with like Lion's Mane and Gouda Cola and a couple other things like Mr. Happy Stack and like the Bulletproof Diet. So if you like this video, if you would, put the like button, share, subscribe, and I'll be sure to make more awesome content. I, I take out and stay frosted.